Jesus. It's another beautiful day, friends out there. Once again, welcome to the Potter's Gate online broadcast. My name is Isaiah Phillips. I came to allow the coordinator of the Potter's Gate online broadcast, a ministry heaven as designed and ordained for the resourcing of the body of Christ, the maturing of the saints, the equipping of the body of Christ, and of course, for the transformation of nations. This morning, once again, we are coming live to you here from as South Africa, Western Cape, friends, you in particular, I want to believe God that wherever you are watching us from this morning, or you will be joining us from, that the Spirit of the Lord that is already here also will flow into your space. I'm talking about the Spirit of prayer, the Spirit of joy, the Spirit, Amen, of if you will, spiritual enthusiasm. There's a there's a sense of anticipation within my spirit. And I believe it's God steering this. All right, we've entered into a new day a few days ago, about three days ago. I receive I receive a prophetic word that is giving us, if you will, a new sense of direction as we move further to us. Amen. The unveilings of the prophetic counsels of God for our day. Heaven spoke to us in 2020 that we've been given another 10 years of uh, opportunity, windows of opportunity to get ourselves ready and prepare to enter into the full reality of the next thing God is going to be doing in the earth. Not what the Antichrist is going to be doing, not what the man of sin is going to be doing. We understand all of that, but what God is doing, amen, it's in the light of God that we see light, amen, in his light we see light, all right? So we are preparing our hearts, we are preparing ourselves, and there are things that the Lord is emphasizing. There are things that amen, he wants us to address. There are aspects of our spiritual life that he wants us to correct, that he wants us, amen, to, if you will, uh, uh, you know, to improve on. And there are those that he wants us to de-emphasize. So let's continue, amen, to follow God, to follow his leading, to follow his footstep, to follow his direction for the new day. And one of the ways that God does these things is that he uses his word, amen, to speak to us. And it's of this reason that, you know, we were emphasizing on the values and principles, amen, of being a student of the word of God and being guided by the word of God. Just as I was about to start this morning, the Lord drew my attention to something else again that hopefully we're going to just look at because uh, uh, what we want to do this morning is to you know involve ourselves revolve ourselves again plunge ourselves into that atmosphere of prayer amen into that atmosphere of moving into amen the heart of god the mind of god of course we know that we pray via the leading of the spirit and that is the most effective prayer when you pray because you are led of the spirit then your prayer becomes effective but we cannot pray effectively or being led by the spirit amen if our minds amen are still filled with all kinds of clutters all kinds of you know uh, uh, issues all kinds of uh, uh, ideas and uh, you know those things you're scattered you're not you're not focused you're not you know uh, uh, aligning and i believe it's for this reason why we need to constantly continually deal with the state of our mind all right there is a battle going on within your heart within your mind amen that is seeking to derail you yes the enemy within is more powerful than the enemy without and the enemy within amen is the character the values of the old man the old nature the fallen adamic nature amen uh, uh, paul said that is a law that is at work in me all right that is warring against amen yes the law of my spirit the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus all right so we understand all of this and we must continue to track this understanding and allow this understanding to give us amen 
leeway and direction into how to live a life of dominion all right i'm sure you've heard a lot of messages around dominion well i i i i bet to differ with many of the ideas you know and the concept people are putting out there because if you're not able to take dominion over the state of your own mind over the state of your thought over the state of how you think amen over how your life is being regulated by impulses amen then how can you go out there and exercise dominion over realms over nations over city over society in fact over your own family or community it's going to be very difficult so the concept that the lord is bringing to us in terms of amen you know being able to live a life that amen is aligned with the mind of Christ is aligned with the thought of Christ to me I think that is what is highly necessary in this in this season but also what will give us if you will the capacity the momentum amen to press into that day where we become invincible to the works of darkness because I tell you the enemy is doing whatever it can do amen to make sure that he cripples us he limits us he frustrates us a lot of people have if you will the rhetorics they have the form all right but they but the the substance is not there all right to be able to govern and live life according to the administrations of the spirit according to the directives of the spirit is becoming a very difficult thing amen for most christians particularly those in leadership position so moving forward going ahead amen ahead in our day will require amen that we yield ourselves our mind our faculty totally amen to the direction to the instructions to the government of the spirit of god all right and that means wearing the mind of christ all right we've got to wear the mind of christ you have to wear the mind of christ they say let this mind be in you I, you know i shared an article some time ago <coughs> excuse me and I want to believe that if you're watching, you're listening, that you must have, you know, uh, read that article is still there. I just want to quickly highlight one or two things. If you go to the site, you'll find it. The art of kingdom lifestyle. This encompasses every area of life. Amen. You want to, you want to, you want to succeed in your calling, in your ministry, in your uh, uh, identity as a man, as a woman. All right. You have to wear the mind of Christ. You have to walk, amen, in what I call, amen, kingdom mindset. All right? Kingdom mindset is not just proclaiming kingdom. It's a value system that you must operate by. Hallelujah. Now, in Philippians 2.5, the scripture says, Let this mind, that first word, that first word suggests that it's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. Now, if God has placed certain responsibility upon a man my shoulder, then he must have obviously given me what the, the power, the authority to do that. All right. So there are things that God is not going to force on you. You know, a lot of people want God all right, to do certain things for them. They want a beautiful Christian life, you know, a kingdom life, a life that is expressing the things of God, but they have not let. To let means you have to open the door just like we like it or not we directly or indirectly open the door for the enemy to come into our life into our space all right the scripture says in the book of uh, uh, revelation it said behold we stand at the door and we knock if you will open we will come in we will interact with you now that is a position that i believe many of us are in this season I, oh you said but i'm a christian already i know you're a christian but you know that you know your life is not manifesting the quality and the character and the fruits amen that you know is spoken about in the word of god if the fruit that we saw manifests in the life of those who have gone ahead of us so let's not kid ourselves amen by you know by just talking about you know some ideal concept of christianity or spirituality if you will the kingdom no the kingdom of god must become flesh and the and the word became flesh and dwell among men this is why jesus was able in three and a half years he was able to finish the assignment of the father for human redemption in three and a half years you know why because his life was so entwined with the mind of the father he said there is nothing that he did on earth amen 
that they were done outside the directive of his father come on friends that is the kind of life we want to live that is where effective lifestyle effective prayer begins from where your mind amen is aligned to the will of god and that's why you know i've thought in past in the past amen how to how to bind your mind to the mind of christ how to pray amen the way jesus prayed they say teach us how to pray prayer accelerates your 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 competence and your capacity amen in pleasing the father many of the things that i've been able to do today as as a follower of christ is because amen of my understanding and my intensity and my sense of clarity amen regarding prayer all right people still have a total different ideology about prayer you will see that our ministry is based on two things two things the ministry of prayer and the ministry of God's Word we will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Word we will give ourselves you give yourself to it all right so when you begin to deal with the issues of the end of days you begin to talk about amen the comings of the, the manifestations of the sons of the annex amen the Namphilims, the fallen spirit spirits amen fallen angels who are mingling themselves with the daughters of men when you begin to deal with system that have interfaced with politics and politicians all right and and, and and globalist ideas and all kinds of things that we don't know what's going on when you begin to hear all these rumors of war and all of that that should tell you that the only way to to deal with this thing and to overcome amen is to align yourself with the mind of christ there's so many things I don't know, but the few that I know, I tell you, they accelerate me. I have no fear in my life. You know why? Because I have the mind of Christ. And wherever I see that I'm failing or I'm no longer pressing in and my life is no longer yielding and flowing in the direction of God's mind, immediately I try to adjust that. Okay? I try to adjust that. If there's anything I'm giving you this morning, amen, it's this secret. This is the secret, amen. Listen to this. If you're going to walk with God like Enoch walked with God, amen, for 365 years on earth, hey, you have to have the mind of Christ. You have to have the mind of Christ. It's not more theology. Theology is good. It's not more of doctrine. Doctrine is good. We need all of this thing. But all must work and synchronize, amen, with the mind that is in sync with the will of God. And that mind that is in sync with the will of God is known as the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you. It's in the mind of Christ that we begin to understand what the kingdom of God is, what the kingdom of God represents, what the kingdom of God is being assigned, what the, what the mission of the kingdom is in our life, in our home, in the life of our children, amen, in the life of our society, in the life of our community, hallelujah, in the life of our city, our nation, in the life of our generation. When you begin to walk in the mind of Christ, you begin to exhibit, amen, manifest the kingdom life because at the end of the day, your mind is the point by which, amen, you touch, you know, material things. You touch elemental things. You touch, amen, things of the earth. As a man thinks in his heart, so he is. In other words, your life right now, amen, is the is the manifestation, is the state, amen, of, of your mind. Whatever you're doing, where you are, your, your sense of joy, you know, dissatisfaction, happiness, amen, fulfillment, you know, rejection, you know, uh, 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 what was the word now, no rejection, disappointment, whatever condition or state that you find yourself, amen, is because of the state of mind you choose to have. No matter how things may look and feel around you, no matter how bleak circumstance may be, tomorrow, amen, you may be given a man uh, 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 you know God knows what you understand they may even tell you tomorrow uh, well you've got three more three more uh, three months to leave because we discover something something in your body so begin to get yourself ready because you're gonna be leaving the earth all right or somebody decide maybe you're working for somebody and then somebody decide tomorrow and say well uh, you're being fired or somebody you are very close to only for you to discover that that person you know has disappointed you has done something all right to you that 
I mean, you're like, how can this thing? Listen, how you respond to all of that is determined by the state of your mind. So we've got to build what I call, amen, you know, a, 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 a mental fortress, a kingdom mental fortress. Listen to what I said in that first article, in that article that I wrote, The Art of Kingdom Lifestyle, Mastering Your Thought Process. Then I, of course, then I shared the, the scripture, Philippians 2. That was uh, 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 the scripture we used to, you know, to expand on this thought. I said, <coughs> excuse me, to create a reality, <coughs> to create a reality. Remember, reality starts from a thought. Reality starts from an idea, an imagination, a realm that is unseen. Hallelujah. You say, what are we doing? We're praying this morning. We're getting more informed. We're getting more positioned. We're getting more aligned. Amen. Yes. You see, many are called, but few are chosen. Everybody start the race, but not everybody is going to finish. All right. If you go the extra way, extra mile, you, you go and seek extra oil. Yes. That when there's a delay, you see that in, in a race, back in the days, I used to run, you know, what they call... Uh, 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 not marathon now uh, um, almost like a marathon race but it's also a long distance you know and I could remember some of the tricks that I you know I used to follow back then but beyond the trick I, I think I also have some bit of st stamina back, back then you know and you begin to run and everybody starts you know with you know with full force Boom! I don't start with full force I take it easy I just keep going I keep going I keep going after about you know 20 minutes 30 minutes you begin to see people getting tired that's when i begin to now you know like you know i, I put more you know you know a, a wood in the fire of my spirit I, I and i just keep you know increasing you know in my strength and capacity and all those who have gone behind me in front of me and i'm just leaving them some are falling by the wayside and i'm just looking at them you know yes so it, it, it's not just about strength it's also about the technique it's also about the wisdom it's also about the knowledge it's also about the understanding you, you, you see you, we have to understand that what is before us hallelujah is still far away but we're preparing ourselves and that's why we are what watchmen we are watchmen on the wall when we have the ability to see afar we prepare the people we prepare our home we prepare our family amen of what is coming hallelujah we're not caught on guard but all of this has to do with your mind your mind i know the church we've talked so much about our spirit about our spirit yes in fact i can i can score myself in a high when it comes to the knowledge about the things of the spirit and the and the nature in fact back in the days when i was a pastor you know pastors used to call me to come and teach their church their members about the ways of the spirit about knowing their spirit about how do you know your spirit how do you walk in the spirit so i'm very good in that area so I, I'm not I'm not a novice when it comes to but I'm saying you cannot have amen in fact listen to what I'm about to say the quality of your spirit is manifested amen in the condition of you in the condition of the state of your mind the condition the quality of your spirit amen is exhibited through hallelujah the condition of your mind because the mind and the spirit are supposed to walk in harmony hand in hand but when you know so much about the spirit but your mind is clustered your mind is corrupt your mind is full of all kinds of things whereby you cannot exercise you cannot exercise amen you know what you know in the spirit what is the use of you claiming to be spiritual why you cannot practice it you can't because whatever you know in the spirit amen has to filter through your mind amen to the point of execution that's prophetic So being prophetic is not oh spirit of god no the bible says the sons of issachar they know what israel ought to do from receiving revelation to the point of execution excellent excellent word that situation yes you've been praying you've been praying when you pray god will speak to you right god gives you solution right how do you execute that solution 
Are you going to go to wherever you want to execute and start? No, 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 no. That is why they gave you, amen. Yes, the sevenfold spirit of God, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel, amen. They give you all the spirit to help you, amen, to put things in their right order. God is a God of order. God is a God of order. There is no confusion in God. The confusion is in the state of our mind. The confusion is that we know things, amen, in our spirit that we cannot execute, that we cannot manifest, that we cannot implement in the natural realm. You're a spirit, but you don't know how to interact with your boss. You don't know. You pray, pray, hallelujah. You know. But when situation comes, you don't know how to talk to people. You don't know how to bargain. You don't know how to, you know, how to negotiate. The world system, they've, they've mastered those areas. Of course, through the soul. But you know, your soul must be redeemed. Look at the way Jesus answered people. Look at the way Jesus answered Pilate. I mean, that is not just being spooky spiritual. Your spirituality is manifest, amen, in the way you deal with practical, amen, day-to-day, uh, 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 -day, amen, real-time issues. Your spirituality will be manifested today when you step out of your house. Maybe right now you're going to work or whatever you're doing. You're starting your business or maybe you're working from home. How you are able to manage your life is a product of your spirit manifested through, amen, the quality and the state of your mind. Oh, I love what I'm sharing with us this morning. So this places a demand on you, amen, to become disciplined. You can't be just, I'm spiritual. Your spirituality is translated, amen, to your ability to be disciplined. Being disciplined begins from being habitual, developing the right habits. Oh, Jesus. I wanted to read something. Let, let me read. You see, developing the right habits. Developing the right, amen, uh, uh, discipline in terms of restraining yourself. You see certain people, they say they are very spiritual but when it comes to certain aspect of their life they are lazy like people who just eat themselves into something else that is not being you cannot say you're praying you're being spiritual but you know that you cannot control your mouth you can't everything must just go no 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 that you eat and eat and eat yourself out of shape itself amen is a spiritual problem <laughs> somebody is not going to like me this morning that you eat yourself out of sh out of shape amen it tells us that something amen is fundamentally wrong amen with your state of mind because a right state of mind amen will be regulated even by what he or she eats you eat and eat and you continue to eat even when you're full but you just must eat and eat don't you know that you have developed amen and habits that cannot be that cannot be stopped amen that is incontrollable incontrollable that is insatiable or right, by food the bible says their their belly has become their god you're eating to try to fulfill something satisfy something all right it's no longer about eating it's about another spirit you see the same spirit that manifests in, in gluttony is the same spirit that manifests in lust. Is the same spirit that manifests, all right, in, in, in anger, all right, in, in, in hatred, you know, in unforgiveness. It's the same spirit just manifesting in different ways. Remember, we spoke about that a few days ago, all right, that you talk about, you know, the, we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power. In fact, I was, I'm supposed to be reading that this morning. Maybe I should go into that, all right? Second Corinthians chapter 10. I'm still going to read what I need to read but you see the, let's just flow by the spirit is that fine second Corinthians chapter 10 the Bible says in, uh, um, let me take it from verse 1 by the meekness and the gentleness of Christ not that by the meekness and the gentleness of Christ I appeal to you I Paul hmm, who I am timid when face to face with you but bold away when I'm away I beg you that when I come, I may not have to be bold. <laughs> I may not have to be bold as as an ex uh, as as expected, you know, to be. Excuse me. I may not have to be bold as expected to be towards some people 
who think that we live by the standards of this world verse 3 for though we live in this world though we live in this world we do not wage war against amen those in the world the, the, then he went forward in verse 4 it says the weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world I'm reading from the NIV translation the weapons we fight with amen are not weapons of this world amen on the contrary they have divine power in other words the weapon to which we fight with have not that it didn't say have power they have what is known as divine power when something is divine it means it's not of the earth it's not subject to the elements of this world amen the weapons we fight to amen and out of this world on the contrary they have divine power to demolish to demolish to demolish what are they demolishing strong gold strong gold amen i define as amen strong position of belief <clears throat> strong goals are strong positions of belief strong position of ideology strong gold amen a strong ideology strong way of thinking well, you know no nothing will change my mind i will never change my mind about this situation no 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 this is it this is it they will argue with you until they can never reason somebody with a strong will never reason with another person and say okay let me reason with you let me hear from your side let me hear what you trying to say about this situation once they believe something even when you are showing them the truth telling them sorry you're wrong but this is the right thing when the evidence is proving them amen to be wrong they will still not accept it you know you're dealing with a struggle and there are people like that in our life there are people like that in our community people like that in our city in government the stronghold strong position they that their idea of belief that they that they that they hold on to they build a wall around it and that's why many people never get delivered even from demonic activity because you see it's easy to say i pray for you uh, demon be gone but if there are mindsets amen that you, you have built a stronghold or you've allowed the enemy to build a stronghold over i that person that's going to do that deliverance must be ready because because they cannot cast out amen a demon of wrong belief you have to expel them out of your life did you hear that what i've just said you cannot cast out a demon of wrong belief wrong belief amen is a pattern of thinking is a way of thinking and there are people who have wrong belief regarding amen what is happening in the world what is going to happen in the church what is happening amen in society they just have a wrong belief not because they see certain things happening and they have come to certain conclusion that this is how this thing is going to pan out this is where amen the issues of wrong theology in relating to eschatology comes from There are many scriptures, phrases in the Bible that we have built stronghold around. That's why if people begin to touch on that thing, you just people people react. They just react. They never really sit down to think and ask. The culture of the Bereans are no long is no longer in the body of Christ. We built stronghold around culture, around tradition around you know sex around male around female we built stronghold around you know family how to raise a home we built strongholds around our money you know we built strongholds around almost every area of life so it is difficult amen to suggest otherwise or to point them to something to, to something different no people are not going to listen to you you see the lord brought my understanding to this concept years ago so I know that one of my ministry, amen, is to challenge Strongo.
Well, I'm not sure if you're still there. My computer just shut down. Just shut down. <laughs> you talk about struggle. <laughs> you talk about dealing with powerful demonic all right, interference. The computer just shut down. All right. So I had to, you know, restart it again. So if, if you are there, uh, please pray for me. <laughs> if you're there, just say amen, hallelujah. But anyhow, I'll, I'm just going to continue. I hope, uh, uh, of course, I know it would have affected the, 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 the broadcast, but I'm just going to continue and then I'll, I'll stop as the spirit leads. All right, we're talking about strong goals. So people have built strong goals on almost every area of life. You know, relationship, you know, with their workplace. All right, thank you so much, um, uh, Sister Sister Kate. Thank you. I appreciate that. At least that tells me that somebody is there. The computer just shut down. Just like that. Oh, Lord Jesus. Even my mouse now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> thank you, Sister Kate. Well, you don't believe in warfare. You better believe it now. This is real. <laughs> you know, this thing is real. Yeah, so we, we, we're saying that it's not enough, all right, just to have this idea and this limited concept of what Christianity or spirituality, amen, uh, you know, has been portrayed for us. We have to go back, amen, into, into the word of God, find the mind of Christ regarding, amen, the values and the principles and the standards that he has established for us or else amen we will actually think we're we're advancing in our work with god maybe we're just on a you know on the same spot you know doing you know uh, uh, my time or, or running on a treadmill i think that's the best way I, you know I, I like to describe most christians you're running on a treadmill yes you're burning a lot of energy but it's not enough to burn energy they also want you to move all right we, we need to move into the next dimension the next phase the next reality of god's uh, christianity is not just about keeping shape it's good to keep shape but we want to keep shape while we are pressing on into the place called zion hallelujah hallelujah our 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 energy amen is not to be wasted we're not trying to impress people by our you know tricep and bicep and how we look or how the clothes fit us no we want to move we want to advance we have set their hearts on the journey are you getting the point so we there's so many things the lord is knocking off you know in this day there's so many ideas so many belief system that the spirit of god is knocking off our mind because those things were built on religious stronghold I told you people have built stronghold around scriptures we build stronghold around even our identity as blacks people have built strongholds amen around the identity amen of, of of being white of being asians all right when you enter into the atmosphere of the kingdom of god all these things must be open there are christians hallelujah praising god you know doing all of that but their belief is totally warped. Their mindset is totally dysfunctional. And yes, you, you say you're a Christian. You're a follower of Christ. Their Christianity is the extension, amen, of their culture. Come on. So, you see, when we talk about praying, we have to understand all of this. When we talk about giving, we have to understand that we, we build stronghold around giving. We build stronghold around, you know, how church must be done. You know, when I was a pastor, at some time the Lord began to, you know, call me to steer the nest of the church. He says, steer the nest. And you know how we do certain things in the church. In fact, many of us have a particular seat, you know, that we sit. When we come to church, your seat, nobody, if somebody sit on that seat, Oh, that person is gonna it's not it's gonna it's gonna get it it's going to, you know you're not gonna be happy yes even if the usher put you somewhere no 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 because you you've you've developed a, a familiar you know familiarity you know develop a familiar spirit no wonder the enemy can predict our life just like that 
So you know what I do? <laughs> I change the whole idea and concept, amen, of, of church, even how we sit. And then after a while, I start taking the on Sunday morning, people would have come dressed. On Sunday morning, I said, Well, today we're not having church here. We're going out. So when you come on Sunday, you don't even know what to expect. So I tell them, dress ready, come prepare. So don't come to church as if or uh, you know you're going to a fashion house because we might decide to go on a walk on the streets to go and preach, to go and you know evangelize. Because you come Sunday, hallelujah, looking so nice with your hairdo and all of that, hey, with your high heel. Ho, 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 ho. The sisters will be complaining. I say, okay, hallelujah, Father, we thank you. Today we're going out. <laughs> After a while, you see some of them, they come bare again. They, they remove their shoe. I say, praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> Church is a place where we come, amen, to be trained. It's, it's, it's not a fun fair. You can do that amen, on Saturday, whatever day you want to do. But when you come to church, church is boot camp. To me, church is boot camp. We train you, we prepare you. So I began to knock off all those struggles of how they do church. Then some Sunday, I shut down the church. We're not doing church today on Sunday. Who said church must be done Sunday? Who said Saturday? Oh, I know Saturday people have family this, family that. I said, well, Saturday we're having church. If it's important, you will come. If it's not important, you can go to your family meet and go to your friends. And but if God is important to you, if they tell you Jesus is coming on Saturday, won't you leave every other thing? Oh yeah, you will. So, so people, you know, it was difficult initially, but we train people, we build them up, we equip them. Bible says be preparing season and out of season. So I'm basically just helping us to understand, you know, certain things as we develop a new mindset a new belief system <coughs> excuse me as we develop a new you know ability to enter into the sphere where our prayer life becomes effectual the bible says the effectual the, the word effectual mean effective don't let the king james uh, 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 english you know uh, uh, pull you off ground the effective fervent prayer of the righteous what makes your prayer effective is not you know how you face the wall or how you know you position yourself it's not you know even <laughs> your emotional expression no effectual fervent prayer has to do with the condition of your spirit in alignment in agreement with the state of your mind you can be praying and your mind is is doing under meter dash or doing the relay or got you know your mind is all over you you you're not focused and that's the truth prayer demands that we are focused prayer demands that you are focused prayer demands that you you are you are you are you are fixative amen on the heart of god on the mind of god regarding the situation yes yes so i was trying to read something out I said to create that is from my note the note i just shared i shared a few days ago on the art of kingdom lifestyle to create a reality that reflects a progressive and productive thought lifestyle Pro your your productivity begins from the state of your mind if you have a calm mind you have a restful peaceful mind there's every possibility that you'll be very productive to create the reality that reflects a progressive and a productive thought lifestyle we need to learn how to guide how to, how to guide and shape our thoughts in fact i need to add that word how to guide and guard amen and shape our thought and imagination in a positive informative and conforming way amen conforming way that leads to fulfilling the enriching life of Christ that's a handful of statement but very powerful to create a reality that reflects a progressive productive thought lifestyle we need to learn how to guide and shape guide and shape our thoughts and imagination in a positive informative in other words what you're reading what you're feeding your mind and conforming way that leads to a fulfilling and enriching life in Christ. 
the depth of our spiritual knowledge and experience is determined by the degree to which we have surrendered our mind to think and act like Christ regardless of the event or circumstance at hand I love that you know situation will make us to want to think differently to want to you know react differently but when you have come to a point and a place where you are disciplined you you allow amen yes uh, 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 the, 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 the mind of Christ to regulate or determine how you think and how you reason it will be very difficult for the enemy to predict your action you know or reaction where they expect you to flare up and just get angry and you know and you're calm why because you've heard the voice on the inside say nothing be calm all right yes hallelujah thank you Jesus so having said that that leads me to something else that I just want to highlight that I'm sure I will be done for this morning in the book of Daniels because we are in the day where we need to begin to interact with the spirit of Daniel with the values of Daniel with the characters of Daniel why because the nature of the days we live in this these days of the end requires men and women like Daniel <laughs> okay if, if, if Daniel was able to overcome Babylon you know Babylon is manifesting itself in fact the days the days we live in are days of Babylon Babylon is not just a physical you know place in Iraq or Iran excuse me all right Babylon today is a spirit just like amen Zion amen is a place a position in the spirit it's a mountain so is Babylon Babylon is a mountain and the, and the Bible says in the book of Isaiah the mountain of the of the house of the Lord will be exalted above other mountains there are other mountains Egypt today is a mountain Babylon is a mountain Assyria is a mountain you don't want to start looking for physical Babylon physical Assyrians and start you know condemning people like they do in America they look at certain part of the world and say that place in, in you know in Iraq they are they are evil all right they are Muslim they're going to they are no 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 that's not how we track how we track nations we track nation by the spirit that is operating that is operating we don't track and and and, and deal with a nation based on amen their historic belief based on what happened to them in the past that's real that's history but today we want to locate a nation we locate them by the fruit the bible said by their fruit amen there are nations that are not you know physically in uh, 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 in in the east but are reflecting manifesting amen that spirit that was found that was birthed in the east there are places both in africa and in america who are exhibiting the nature and the character amen of nebuchadnezzar why because nebuchadnezzar is just amen an instrument an ambassador you understand of satan and we saw how god amen dealt with nebuchadnezzar that i mean god is amazing may god help some of our christians today who will look at certain politicians and say you because you are xyz you know you're not supposed to be the president i mean just like what is happening in nigeria i mean years ago about four years ago the lord told me i mean well not told me directly gave me a vision of this tinumbu man all right i saw him campaigning and i saw thugs behind him and i know as a man all right who likes thugs who you know he's into all of those crazy things and i'm looking at this man and i'm picking it in my spirit this man is campaigning for an election and when i woke up i said to myself this man is going to run for an election and he might just win because people were trooping after him but that does not mean amen that you know he is loved by god or he's selected by god but they have shown they've revealed that this is what is going to happen 
all right but i'm not one of those that will go out and start claiming oh da, 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 da. no 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 i just pray the prayer i need to pray and do what i need to do so when the man won the election either by uh, uh you know genuineness or by deceit well they've said this we don't know all of the things that have happened behind regardless of how we pray we might have our own desire Amen. It has to be obedience. It has to be, you know, obe. But that's not what God, you know, wants. No matter how you want to talk about it and look at it, I'm not saying that this man there is the right man that's supposed to be there, but he's the man that they have chosen to be there. That's the point that I'm making. And we must know how to track, amen, with God. All right. Our religious mindsets most time, amen, goes against, amen, the will of God. Oh, they, they say kill and eat. The, the, the religious guy said nothing unclean. Peter said nothing unclean has ever touched my lips. They said, but kill and eat. Then they rebuked him. What I, the Lord, have cleansed, you do not call unclean. Many of our leaders, pastors, so-called prophets, they need to be rebuked, and many of them are being rebuked now. What I have called cleanse, you don't call unclean. How God cleanses it, you don't know. What God intends to do, amen, with that vessel, you don't know. Humble yourself. May God grant us understanding and wisdom. I brought that, amen, because of the context of what I want to quickly share, and then I'm, I'll be done this morning. Thank you, Jesus. They said there's a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the Holy God in him. In the days of your father, he was found to have insight, intelligence, wisdom, like other gods. There's a man in your kingdom. Friends, this is the place the Lord is bringing us to. That as we rise up in the knowledge, in the wisdom, in the understanding, and in the grace to exhibit the wisdom of God in this season in time, that they will be forced to locate us. They will be forced to point at us and say, there's a woman, there's a man in your kingdom, in your state your community we're striking with God who knows what to do regarding the situation remember the principle is the sons of Issachar they were not just prophetic in terms of what they declare or what they see but their prophetic amen understanding as if you were an advanced advantage they know what the people shall do and that is what we need in this season in time god is awakening a people a company of people who through the spirit of prayer and intercession and supplication and connecting with god they are able to receive direction insights amen and foresight about amen conditions of the day we need daniel there's a man in your kingdom there are kingdoms being awakened today and God is engaging this kingdom yet God has planted amen his own among those kingdom ours is we want to take over God says before you take over I want you to influence that kingdom amen like what like a yeast I'm planting you among the kingdoms of this world and I want you from inside out amen to impact this kingdom to such a level that they will recognize that I am God. One way God can be revealed in your home, in your family, your community, amen, is through your life, amen, illuminating, shining for the light of God. When God, amen, turn on your light, you can't go hide under the bushel. You cannot hide because it's time to give the house light. But for us to do that, we have to engage the spirit. Engaging the spirit requires, amen, that we have a renewed mind. Because if you don't have a renewed mind, 
fear of men fear of the condition fear of the position amen will keep you away you will be afraid you will say to yourself i am but a child <laughs> i don't know how to speak i don't know what to say i don't know how to prophesy no they say go this day i have touched your mouth you go speak this day i have anointed you as a prophet over the nations hallelujah there is a man in your kingdom it's not just a boy it's not just some youthful exuberant child who doesn't understand full of zeal but have no knowledge there is a man a full-grown man this is the day amen of 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 mature manhood emerging in the midst hallelujah of the destruction of 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 the male seed of the male man god is awakening amen the spirit of his man there's a man in your kingdom old or nebuchadnezzar or uh, 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 um, belshazzar that in the days of your father you might have forgotten him but he still has the spirit he's still tracking the heart of god and the mind of god friends there's a church emerging in this new day mature men and women well groomed not carried away by 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 zeal without knowledge and not working with knowledge without zeal they are well mature well equipped their mind amen is reflecting hallelujah all of the father's counsel they are not moved by crowd they are not moved amen by numbers they are not moved by the condition of what is going on across the world that wherever they are amen their word is enough to shift the atmosphere they say speak your word only men who have come into christ women who have come into the mind of christ functioning from the holy order of the heel of the lord fun functioning hallelujah as a priest born after the order of melchizedek people who have the scepter of god in their hand hallelujah and who have the altar of fire burning their life and incense rising unto god there's a man in your kingdom look at the quality of the spirit of this man is found to have insight intelligence wisdom is that not what the world is looking for insight intelligence wisdom that's what the world is looking for when that when when joseph amen <laughs> appeared before uh, 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 pharaoh and he displayed intelligence insight wisdom he was made the prime minister of a foreign nation i watched a program on uh, youtube there's this nigerian lady that does this uh, uh news thing and she flagged the news was it two three weeks ago about one of one state i can't remember which state in america and nigeria had become you know uh, uh, um you know almost like a governor of you know of, of that state has become the mayor of that state a mayor and he ran amen as an independent candidate you ask yourself how, how do you do that a nigerian became the mayor of that particular region god is no respecter of men and he was not he was not you know they are democratic whatever he was he's not your republican he ran a man on an independent you know tag how do you do that how do people support this kind of a person you see when god is moving when god is moving you see friends I, I, i'm just trying to bring you to you know to 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 begin to see yourself in a new light you know that to do such a thing you must know where you're coming from you must know what you have you must be very confident amen about yourself and what you carry and people must have seen that indeed th this guy has got a track we've seen the track record we will vote this man in it's not by might it's not by power in this day that we're living god is gonna dumbfound the powers that be 
God is going to topple, amen, the, 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 the systems. He say, you who think you are, fa- you are, you are fasten yourself on the wall like a, like a peg, and you think nobody can remove you. He said, one day, I will remove you, Eliakim. Somebody else will take your position. You, you think that because you are the administrator of the palace, and you think you have you, you have the knowledge, you have, no. This guy, amen, has positioned himself to take charge. They removed him and they put a priest there. God is doing a new thing. This is not the day to be afraid. This is not the day to be shaken. There is a man in your kingdom. You you keep running the kingdom. (laughs) There is a man coming. There's a woman coming. You keep running the kingdom. Something will happen. Nobody will be able to interpret the dream. Something will happen. Nobody will be able to fix that problem except you go call the man that God has anointed. You see, we have to understand the strategy of the spirit. And I've said all of this to buttress what I said before. Amen. That we need the mind of Christ. You cannot be a man in, 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 in the kingdom amen, of Belshazzar if you don't have the mind of Christ. You will fail. The wolves, the lions of Babylon, amen, will eat you alive. Don't tell me, oh, hallelujah, proper. They will throw you in the lion's den. They will see if indeed your God will turn up. The next day, the king came to the lion's den. Daniel, are you still there? This God you've been talking about, did he save you? Or are you have you been eaten by the lions? Oh king, live forever! Your servant is still here. Rama Shatayado. Galombra ne masanda rabdobo shayada. The king was full of life. I'm sure he jumped out of his skin. Say, so go fetch this man out of that thing. It's a brand new day. Do you believe in God or you believe in religion? Are you tracking God or you're tracking religion? You just seeking, you know, just be part of the crowd. Just want to be part of the numbers. Just want to go to that church that is trendy. Can they show you God? Can you track God? Are they, are they creating a passion on, on the inside of you? That every day you go, you come back home, you, you press in. Are you seeking, amen, to, to be undressed from this cloth that looks nice, but cannot, hallelujah, exhibit the glory of God? Say, God, I undress myself. I can't go with this. Some must have dressed me. Some might have dressed me. But Lord, this is a weight. I can't go with this. Our problem is many of us cannot undress ourselves from the armors, from the armories of Saul. We love, you know, the, the palace look. We love the royal look. Royalty without scepter. Royalty without power. Royalty without dominion. Royalty without authority. We love it. Hallelujah. Royalty that is just about bling, 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 bling. Oh, nice car. You know, you know, you see the skin shoe. You see. Uh, uh, yeah. Can you perform? Can you pat the red sheet? Can you stop? Hallelujah. Yes. The crowd. Can you move back? Amen. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. The sun backwards. Can heaven hear you when you call? Can you declare that, amen, at my word, there will be neither dew nor rain? Can you challenge, amen, Jezebel on on Mount Carmel? Hallelujah. Do you have the power, amen, to sentence all the false prophets in town, amen, to death? Do you have such a power? Or are you just declaring some ideal thing? Lord, we honor you. We praise your name. We glorify your name. Not by might, not by power. Lord, my eyes are on you. My 
eyes are on you my eyes are on you friends working with God is a real business you cannot afford to be distracted you cannot afford to be derailed you cannot afford to be in and out plain eyed and sick no it's not a game your life and the life of many and nations depends on your commitment we honor your name oh god glorify you lord jesus let your kingdom come lord let your kingdom come lord there is a man in your kingdom lord count me as one of those Count me as one of those that you have infilled with your spirit. The spirit of insight, intelligence, wisdom. Let your sevenfold spirit begin to manifest in our lives, oh God. Yes. Let wisdom build this house. Let the seven pillars of wisdom be established within the structures of our being let meet the meat of the revelation of your of your name and glory and fame and sovereignty law be found on the table of this house that wisdom is building with a mixed wine oh god set your table that men may come and eat the fatness oh god of the nations Lord, this is the day we cry out to the spirit of wisdom. We receive in the name of Jesus correction and direction, insight for the ways that you've called us to track in this new day. I pray, O oh Father, that our spirit, Almighty God, will align with your voice, with your counsel, to as many who are connecting by faith let there be an infusion an impregnation a deposit oh God of the life of this word into their spirit man that they will not be captured by fear or anxiety the Bible says don't let your heart be captured by dissipation that the day of the Lord that the day Amen. Comes on you unprepared. Don't let the anxiety of the day push you to fear and go hide in some cave. This is the day to, to ascend to the hill of the Lord, to the mountain of God. Come this day with a circumcised heart. Present your life to God. Say, Lord, this day I present myself to you as a living sacrifice. Don't bring no dead sacrifice. Come with your intelligence and everything that you are. Lay it on the altar. This is my life. I offer it to you, Father. Have your way. Take your place. Have your way. Take your place in my life. I want my life to reflect your prophetic counsel for my day, for my home. I want my life to stand out as Daniel yes, stood out in his day. As, as, as the rest of his company stood out uncompromised you've got to know a God hallelujah, who is more real than the, than the persecution than the, than the furnace that you see you must know a God amen not to bow when hallelujah the idols of Nebuchadnezzar stand tall above every other thing and you choose to remain standing they say when you hear the when you hear the lira when you hear the tambourine when you hear yes the app and all this instrument and and the trumpets you must bow the head they say sorry we don't bow to idols I was listening to a scripture yesterday it says the idols that men are built for themselves are but gold and silver <laughs> Jesus 
men fashioned things with their mind they erected it high above and they demand other men to bow to that thing as their God not not in my day over my dead body whatever it is that men are fashioned you see for you not to bow to certain thing you must have known the Christ that is fashioned on the inside of you they say let Christ be formed in you if Christ is not formed in you I swear you're gonna to bow to that thing because that thing will be looking like God Isaiah told us that they have fashioned God in their own image in their own image all kinds of things men are fashioned today in their own image so anything that contradicts that image they tell you is contrary they tell you it's not God <laughs> don't bow to the image that men are fashioned there's a religion there is a church even there's an ecclesia that is being fashioned in the minds of men that they want us to bow to because they call it ecclesia no don't fall to that lie you can call it anything if that thing is not reflecting the nature the life the fruit of the spirit sorry it's a different god you can even call it ecclesia you can call it whatever you want to call it i'm no longer moved by whatever you call it i want to see fruit if i can't see fruit i don't buy it If I cannot see fruit, I don't buy it. You lie in the name of God. You use the 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 the, 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 the speakings and the and the emphasis of the spirit to build your own idol. I don't buy it. Divorcing myself from all this nonsense people are calling kingdom. Where's Christ? If you can't reveal Christ, I don't buy it. Let me repeat it again. If you cannot show me Christ, doctrine is translated to the revelation of Christ. Theology is translated to the revelation of Christ. If people cannot see Christ, not something that looks like Christ, that sounds like Christ, but has not the spirit of Christ, is the Antichrist. The day where we must grow and mature in the ways of the spirit we've been deceived long enough there's a man in your kingdom are you that man remember the word man here is not just about uh, the male man it's a condition of the spirit if we if we have to take that concept amen into a symbolic interpretation the spirit man that's what we're talking about a person whose spirit amen has come of age it's mature Amen. Yes, the wine is mature. You know the ways of God. You're not seeking to use God. There's a man in your kingdom, you said. Friends, you don't have to like me. I'm not seeking for you to like what I'm saying. It is the truth. Everything must be probed. In the season we're living try all spirits the more i try things that i thought was kingdom the more i see hey this is not kingdom this is another kingdom all i've desired is to be like christ nothing else if being like christ will mean that i will have nothing own nothing go nowhere i'm fine by it being like Christ will make me die on the street and I'm left there like that ah so be it after I'm dead nothing again I'm not bothered about who what no listen what you're doing now will define and determine yes your journey relationship means nothing if it cannot enhance your journey to Christ stop fooling ourselves God touch my mind I want the mind of Christ so my life can reflect his glory in all that I do I want him to be first 
so that I can be that man in the kingdom of Babylon that in the day where the drum is rolling and the trumpets are sounding and the harp and the lyres are being sung and everything is going crazy and everybody is bowing open my eyes first to discern secondly give me the boldness not to bow you can bow to the, to the religion that man has offered to you called church and you can be so involved in that thing and you are going to hell because Christ is not there what you have is crisis what you have amen is religion being sold to you on a wholesale but you are busy busy hey stop everything and find Christ before it's too late find Jesus the Greeks came they said we want to see Jesus the Lord said now it's time for the Son of Man to be lifted and if I be lifted up I will draw all men oh Jesus help us to understand the nature of the day give us a burden give us a passion a passion oh God that will at last this religious circus we are seeing this lie and falsehood that is being promoted in the name of Christianity help the people to know that Christianity is to follow Christ follow me follow me and I will make you you can't say you're following Christ and you're not changing when you follow him he's making you before he makes you he will first unmake you <laughs> oh hallelujah before he makes you he will first unmake you from what the world system and the religious system and church men and church women our daddy in the Lord, our mommy in the Lord, our bishop, up, they will unmake you from all of those things. They will they will leave you in the wilderness for all those things to die there. That's why they will send somebody like Isaiah. Some of you, you were picked in the wilderness of religious confusion. Some of you, they directed you to Isaiah Philip's house. Because you don't know what to do. You're just, you're just roaming, you're floating. You, you don't want to die, you want life, but you don't know what to do. They said, go to the house of one called straight. You'll find a guy called Isaiah Phillips there. He will tell you what to do. <laughs> That's why I'm not part of the system. My desire is for the hearts of men to be changed, to be transformed. For you to fulfill God's intentions for your life. You bless me, fine. You don't bless me. Jesus is Lord. His kingdom will advance. But I must do the work of him that sent me. Where is day? For the night is coming, friends. The night is coming when no one will be able to walk again. It's too late. Walk while it's day. This is the work the Father has sent me to do. Even when you have flu, you still come and do the work. Because you know, they've touched your lips. There's a word that you need to speak. You see, it's not about the condition of my voice. I was preaching the computer shut down just shut down I'm watching what's going on here <laughs> here's a computer start by himself again this is a new computer it's not an old it's a new computer all the specs are supposed to be working perfect then you know that you're in warfare <laughs> this thing is running on eight you know uh, uh, gigabyte graphics if you know about computer 8 gigabyte graphics graphics card but yet I'm still struggling with the graphics 20 gigs RAM this is not just a laptop this is a machine here I've got here <laughs> so you know warfare warfare not this thing <laughs> your idea of warfare must change friends <laughs> hallelujah We give glory to God, friends. We say all of this for you to know where we are, where we are tracking, where our heart is. If you are tracking with me, continue to track. Please continue to pray for me. That God will continue to use me to bring people out of, amen, the, the, the house of Pharaoh, the house of Babylon religion. 
that we will raise a company of men called Nehemiah. The Ezra will manifest in our day that we will build and restore the burnt gates and the broken walls that the nation of God once again will be built and I may will emerge with authority that this is the day where the Daniels and the Esthers, amen, and the Joseph will emerge as they proclaim famine upon the nation. We proclaim abundance. We declare God will give people knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that they will start coming out with innovations that will allow them, hallelujah, to scale through. Yes. What sank a lot of a lot of sheep in the days of the tsunami is the same that led the people of God to the mountain called Ararat. Come on, friends. Glorify the Lord. Glorify the Lord. If the Lord is your God, lift your hand, bless his name. Worship him at the beauty of his holiness because he is worthy of glory. We honor you, Yahweh. We bless your name, Lamb of God. Our heart is set on a journey. Our heart is set to us, your heel. Our mind is set to the place called, yes, Man Zion. The holy heel of the Lord. We are part of the nation of Judah. May your name be glorified, Father. May your kingdom continue to emerge. May your light in us continue to shine. Oh God, remove anything that is in us contrary to your ways. Yes, we cast down imaginations and every high thought that exalt themselves. Thoughts of pride, religious pride. Yes, pride, anger, hatred. Using the things of God without allowing Christ to be formed in us. We reject all of that. We undress ourselves. We cast down the crowns of men. We come naked. We come open. Clothe us. Feel us. Feed us. Renew. Transform. Restore us. For the glory of your name. Oh, come on, friends. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. He is worthy of glory. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. May, oh God, the glory foot of your people today be after the order of your spirit. Guide them, lead them. Instruct them, oh God, in the way to go. Holy Spirit, be their guide. Be their light. Let your light, yes, guide their footstep. Oh, let your ways be their way. Help them today, yes, to stand tall, to stand bold, courageous, unafraid. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for your will that is prospering in their life, prospering in their path. Today I proclaim, yes, the day of the Lord, the day of his, of his goodness and grace, the day of his favor upon you. I declare this day in the midst of confusion and lack and, and disparity the Lord will lift your head above the waters you you will walk in the path of truth and righteousness muscle the favor of God who cause provision yes to be directed towards you in the name of Yeshua I declare upon you wherever you are they will behold you yes with goodness and with righteousness and every tongue that rise against you for his sake they are condemned I declare in the name of Jesus that you will walk in the spirit of meekness I Paul meek you will walk in meekness yet you'll be bold you'll be strong you'll be confident you will not put your trust in the arm of flesh because they will continue to fail may your eyes remain and stay on the Lord in the name of Jesus I declare this day you're going forth you are blessed you are blessed. You are blessed, not curse. You are blessed, not curse. You are advancing, not regressing. You are advancing. You are going forward. Consider not the former things. See, God is doing a new thing. He's springing forth all over you. He's springing forth all over you. The seed that you sowed in time past and germinated, bringing forth fruit unto the glory of God. Bless His name. Honor His name. 
you are the solution in your community there is a man in your kingdom who was found with the spirit of the holy gods in the days of your father this is a new day God who did it in the day of Nebuchadnezzar through the ministry of Daniel is doing it again in the day of, of Belshazzar through the same spirit of Daniel hallelujah glory to Jesus father we thank you father we honor your name we respond to you with joy our heart swells in honor of your name we celebrate you we are the company of them that celebrate you we dance before you we sing a new song unto you we rejoice over you oh God <coughs> we rejoice over you as you rejoice over, over us we sing over you as you sing over us may our lips with, be filled with joy and praises oh God we thank you because we are healed we are restored, renewed, revived. Vibrant spirit is alive in us. We thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Wisdom builds this house. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, thank you so very much for joining us this morning. I'm grateful that you are able to join us this morning, wherever you've joined us from. Thank you, Brother Shala. It's been a while. Thank you for joining us this morning. God bless you. And everyone out there that has touched base with us, wherever you will be watching or listening to the podcast of this uh, uh, broadcast, I pray God will continue, amen, to elevate you and use you to show forth his glory, amen, wherever you are. It's a brand new day. Keep living life, amen, in accordance to the standard of God and of course in accordance to the will of God, all right? We have been praying this morning on our watchtower amen this is the sound of awakening morning by morning awakens me awakens my heart to listen like one that is being taught god bless you we'll see you again everyone all right thank you thank you brother Shola. all right amen bless you my love to sister bumi and the entire family over there in nigeria hope to see you guys soon all right all right bless you ah uh, hallelujah thank you everyone have yourself a beautiful, wonderful, blessed day. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.